Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Terry J. Please excuse the mess, I'll explain it in a minute. I already filmed this little intro and then I was like, no, I think I need to redo it after having actually gone through all my things. I want it to be hopefully a little more concise and just explain a little bit more of what I'm really wanting. I've been here, been on YouTube for a little while. So far my channel has kind of been me experimenting and it's like experimenting over time so I've done one thing for a long time then I change it and I do another thing for a long time and then I've changed it a little and done that thing for a long time and I wanted to really like reevaluate what my channel is what it's all about why am I doing it why do I put those things on the internet why is it important to me? And so I just started writing things down. I just started making lists of things, things that I might want to see on my channel, things I might want to do, what my channel could be about, what it already is about. Just like I just started writing things down. And in the end, it kept coming back to one thing. And that is a logo that if you've watched any of my videos, you will have seen it on almost every video I've made. And that's a logo that appears at the end of my video and it says create more. I think we should continue to keep creating more because it challenges my brain, because it helps me um, to do my job, because it helps me to connect with others. So I constantly creating more is what I feel that I've been created for. Um, creating more in like every aspect of life. I don't have my channel because I'm wanting to get followers or I don't have my channel because I'm wanting to make money off of my channel. The reason I started my channel was so that I would be doing more creative things for myself. That I would be pouring myself into something that is creative at all times. Like because I kind of got lost in my work and only doing things for other people and I wanted to be able to create more for myself. Like as far as like I kept doing my work, my job, and not having my own creative outlet. And so I want that to keep going, but I want to go beyond. I want to, okay, now we've done that, but like where else can I go from there? What else can I do with that? In order for me to go forward from there and to create more and to do more with my channel and to change things up and to evaluate and all of those things, I felt like I really, really needed to clean up my life. Um, mostly I needed to clean up the creative side of my life because it is in just utter chaos at the moment. As you can see, this is nothing. This is just a pile of stuff. Like. It, it was an utter chaos and so the other day I started doing that um, and I started going through all of my stuff and I'm gonna show you me going through my stuff and then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you the things that I pulled aside um, but that was what I wanted to do I was like you know what this is what I need to do first I need to know what I have I need to know what I have lying around what I've done in the past what I'm doing right now what I want to do in the future like I need to have all of those things organized because I am one of those people who love to start something and not finish it I get all these ideas and I'm like oh maybe this maybe this maybe this and then I have them all just like lying around but I don't like keep doing them or whatever I really wanted to just organize myself before I went anywhere else before I went any further and I know that in like two days I'm not gonna be fully organized but it just like so far it has already helped me immensely because I've gone through my closet here in my office which contains most of my stuff that's creative I've gone through my bookshelf here which had some stuff in it I've gone through my cupboards there you can see in the back um, and looked for stuff there I've gone through boxes in my garage that I haven't gone through in over a year since I moved which is so ridiculous just to figure out what is where I mean I started looking just for things and I'm like why is this here what is this doing here and then I just started organizing things and it was amazing something that Zoella always says what she says her dad always says which I'm sure came from somewhere else is um, you know you have to break eggs to make an omelet and that's where I'm at that stage right now I'm in the like breaking egg stage because um, there's stuff everywhere but I do feel like hey I've organized hey there's a box in the garage that is now 
two boxes that, that was two boxes and now it's one box you know um, and so it's been really nice I want to show you me going through my stuff I'm gonna cut a lot of it out but I'll just show you a few things that I found um, kind of what I did maybe a little bit of a time-lapse um, I don't know because of the way I filmed it but um, just so you can see like me going through my stuff and what I mean by like my art stuff and my creative stuff um, and then we'll come back here and we're gonna go through this pile together and I'm gonna kind of explain to you the sorts of things that I want to be doing with it so uh, so here we go here's me going through my stuff and then I'll see you in a minute and we'll go through this stuff okay hello everybody today I thought I really wanted to go through all of my like sketchbooks all of the art that I just have like lying around because this place is like there's just like stuff everywhere <laughs> my um closet is a little bit crazy not too bad but um I just have stuff in places and um so I want to go through and find any artwork I have that I've made, anything, um, sketchbooks that I have lying around that have stuff in them, um, loose papers that are like artwork I've made, just anything like that. Stuff that's like loose and not in the right place and or it's like for somebody but I haven't finished it yet. That is something I do all the time is I start things and I don't finish them. So just trying to find all of the things and gather them and then hoping that that really kind of motivates me to um, maybe finish what I've started or try a better way of doing what I've already done or something like that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through my closet. I'm going to go through some drawers. I'm going to go through things and just like figure out what I have and what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, what I want to give away. Just all of that stuff so um yeah let's get started and do that okay so i think what i want to do is like take stuff i've made or like make stuff in the future whatever that i can actually like give to other people just like as a little like a card almost but i'm sending them or a little bit of artwork stuff like this and i can just hopefully send it to people and say Hey, I was thinking of you. And then there's just like blank sketchbooks. So I need to know where that is so that I can find it later. Right now, I think I will try to make some piles and just figure this out. Oh look, my little logo that I need. <laughs> These are templates from Stephen Kuntz where you can like um, learn how to like lay out lettering. So we keep those. So I also have, these are some artworks I did not too long ago. Yeah, the right thing is messy. This is one of those templates. This is when I was doing type lettering on Mondays. And just blank paper. This is a stack of lettering things that I'm gonna send out to somebody. I might need to replace some of these because they're not good anymore. So this is gonna be our little pile that we're making. This is my this is my bookshelf and there's like journals and stuff in here so we need to go through that okay so now we're gonna go through these I probably won't get rid of the journals but I'll try to go through them at least here's some like lettering what am I gonna do with this I should like frame this and put it up when it's Christmas time I have bunch of these. I used to get a bunch of these when I was in this little like, you know those like box, like monthly boxes you can get? I was in one of those for uh, 
like fluttering stuff and then and it kept coming and I kept not using it so I canceled it but um, but there was like some nice stuff in here so I can save it anyway so now this is like mostly empty so we'll keep that here's another one that's mostly empty because I took a lot of these things oh see this is like uh, this is even have blank paper in it it's all just like lettering here's another one like it's completely filled up this is my like inspiration journal so it has just like I haven't looked at it in a long time but it has stuff that I just love it's kind of like my Pinterest before I used Pinterest. I was practicing my lettering on it. Different kinds of Q's, different kinds of P's, and O's, and M's. So this was A Thousand Blessings. This one was probably one of my favorites. Technology that I'm thankful for. I should do this again. This was actually really hard, I will admit. Like, coming up with a thousand things. I know that sounds like really sad, but like, honestly, like, Coming up with a thousand things is a lot, but it's like really good to like make yourself do. My poems, and I put words to them, daily words to them, so this is my poem, this is my word for that poem, so I kept them in here. This is my poem, this is my word for the poem. Okay, so now we're in my room. This little cabinet I have here next to my bed has a few things in it, so we're just gonna go through them real quickly here. You just saw my words and poems books. This is like my all my poems. I I should actually do this again because I haven't done it in a while. But I took the Book of Romans and I wrote it. I basically wrote the whole book out, but I like did it with lettering. So just so that I would read it, um, but also like be creative while reading it. Graphic design for church. Just like quotes that I liked. This was a poster I made by hand. These are songs I've written or like ideas for songs. Not necessarily like the full songs. So. I have these pens that I bought at the dollar store and they're just sitting in here like not being used. Smell like stuff. <laughs> these are a handout from church that I made. Um, but that's over. It's from last Christmas. I mean Easter. This was a graphic I made. This was like a test thing, but I do kind of like it. I was testing the way that I wanted to do this. And so I was just like trying different things. <laughs> I wanted to test like what the different pens would do. I did 365 day lettering thing like a while back and these were like the ones that I wanted to keep because they're my favorites. So I put them in this little folder so that I keep them. This one. This one, and this one, <laughs> and this one was really one of my favorites. And this one was too. And this. I really should like frame them, put them on the wall. Add them to the pile. I still know that I'm missing like a box or something because there's some stuff I can't find, but this is stuff I did back in the day. These are like my fashion stuff, a window. My Christmas cards from 2014. <laughs> This is when I was super into Beam. You guys remember that? Casey Neistat. And this is Tina. She needs to go up a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Okay, welcome back. 
Um, first I'm gonna, I'm sorry this is a weird angle, but it's because I want you to see what I'm doing. First I'm gonna make a pile of things that like I'm going to keep them for my own like memories, keepsake kind of a thing. I'm gonna make a little pile of that and I still don't know where that stuff's gonna go, but I'm gonna have like a pile. That's what that is. This is for me to keep. I want it, you know, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna make a pile of things that are like they can go, I don't need to keep them, so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with them. And then we're gonna go through the other pile of the stuff I don't want, and I'm gonna to explain to you the kind of thing, kinds of things that I wanna do with them. So, um, let's do that first. Just to, just very briefly, um, I made the two piles, you saw them. For the pile that's for me, a lot of this stuff, I just want to explain briefly because I may have explained it already, um, is like journals and things like that that I've written in. They're not really journals, they're like art or inspiration journals. They're not like journals where I wrote out my day. They're not like that. That I want to keep for myself. So some of them are just, they're all totally filled. Um, but there's just like stuff that I want to keep in them. I don't want, I don't want to give them away. And then some of these are journals that are like completely empty. And obviously I'm keeping them so that I can use the paper in them. And then there's stuff that's like, um, I did this lettering and I really want to like frame it and put it on my walls. So I have a couple of those. Let's talk about this other pile. So... This is like artwork that, ha it doesn't carry sentimental value to me really, but at the same time throwing it out seems wasteful. Um, I know like not everything you make is a gem, I understand that, but I do feel like some things are wasteful because like what if you could send it to somebody or give it to somebody, hand it to somebody, or frame it for somebody and give it to them and like make their day. What if that's something that I could do with it? And that thought honestly comes through my mind a lot. And I've done that a little bit in the past. A lot of times it's I make something specifically for someone, which I have done, um, or both things. I have, I've made something specifically for someone and in that same package I've thrown in other things where they could use it. That's kind of where my mind went, is like, how can I use this stuff that just sits around in my closet in a in a more useful way? How can I use it in a way that's gonna like make someone's day or just like make someone happy or like make, I don't know, just like make them feel loved? Um, what is a way that I can do that? And, the best way is to just put it in an envelope and write a note to somebody and send it to them. So that's what we're going to do with all of these things. Um, let me just show you some examples. This is a really good example. So I have this folder here. I use this for a Bible lettering challenge and I did a Bible lettering every day for 30 days. And here they sit just in this folder. Um, and I'm like, Bible verses, like, how could those not be inspirational for someone? I mean, maybe some people don't care, but there are people who find scripture, there are a lot of people, including myself, who find scripture extremely um, inspiring, extreme, extremely uplifting, extremely meaningful, and what if I could just fold them up, put them in an envelope, and send them out to people? Um, what if I could attach them to something that I created or made and send them out to people or hand them to people, give them as gifts? Um, and so that's what I want to do. I just want to take these and put them in an envelope and send them out. Just be a part of what... Be a part of what creating more is for. We don't just create things for ourselves, although... That is a big part of it, 
me creating more helps me to continually be more creative, right? Me creating more helps my brain to function, helps me to feel useful, helps me to feel happy, is cathartic for me, is relaxing for me, right? That is true. It is, there is a selfish side to creating things because on that selfish side, I'm happy when I've created something. But there's another part of me that wants to see someone else be blessed and by that creativity. I don't want to just hold it up in, in, in my own little piles in my office, in my closet, and just leave them there. That's pointless. Why did I create it? What was the point behind it? Yes, it was for me, but like not all creativity isn't just for me, it's for others as well. If we didn't share our creativity, like this would be a completely different world, right? And not only that, like I believe creativity comes from God. So I want to share what creativity God has given me because that's only an opportunity for me to reach out to somebody, to be kind to someone, to love on someone, to spread joy to someone, and to share God with someone. Those are all possibilities that can come from just sharing something creative. Um, sharing it with love, sharing it with sincerity, and sharing it freely. And so that's what I want to do. Um, that's what I want to do with these random, ridiculous, messy piles of stuff. One of the things you will definitely continue to see on my channel are going to be um, my DIY videos because I want to keep learning. That's a way that's a way for me to not just be creative but to like learn something creative <laughs> learn something new that i didn't know how to do before and so i've really really loved that um it might change a little like the format of it like how i do it and the things that we make but i'm gonna still do it i'm gonna do my darn try my darndest to do it once a month um but that will stay because I do find that it's, like I said before, creativity is not just for other people, it's for me too. It's for both sides, right? It's for myself and for other people. And so there's this side of me, I wanna learn how to do that. So I'm gonna learn how to do that. But not only that, maybe I could take that thing I learned how to do and create more and give it to others and bless other people with it and share it with others, right? So that's definitely gonna stay on my channel. Um, you'll for sure see at least some vlogs because I wanna vlog the process of me doing things because it's a part of the process of creativity and I definitely want you guys to see that process. I don't want it to just be like, look what I created, let's give it away. I want you guys to also see how we create stuff here. I say we myself see how I create stuff here in my home um, how I'm surrounded by people who are creative and wonderful and how we create together how we make things together how we brainstorm things together um, how we come up with ideas and implement them yeah just like I want to go beyond what I've been doing what I've been doing has been selfish to be honest it's been for me to try and be creative for myself i think that's important but i think it needs to go beyond that so that's what i'm hoping to do that's what i want to see happen and i hope that you guys are okay with that i hope that you guys are willing to come along with me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to do my very best to cut it down because oh my gosh it's long I'm excited I'm excited I'm a little bit in shambles because like there's so much stuff around me right now and I'm like ah but at the same time like it's really good thank you guys so much for joining me I hope that you enjoyed this I hope it's something that you're interested in if it is please come back because I really really want to continue to make more of this to create more things here on my channel and let me know guys leave comments Tweet at me, Instagram, whatever, whatever you want to do. Let me know the kinds of things you might want to see. 
or like if you want to join me or like participate in doing those things um that would be cool uh let me know because i i don't want this again it's not just for me anymore like i think for a long time even though i wanted to share it with other people it really was for me because it was what i wanted to do when i wanted to do it and now i don't want it to be that anymore i want it to be for others i want the stuff that i'm doing and the creativity that i'm creating to be for others but like this channel is also for others and i want you guys to enjoy it and i want it to be something that um inspires you guys so let me know what you think um and come back hit the subscribe button so that when there's new videos like it shows up on your feed maybe even hit the little bell because that will like you don't have to check your feed it will just like notify you and say hey Terry has a new video she posted a new video let's create more um and like this video so that I know that you're into it you want to do it you're excited about it yes Terry thumbs up thank you guys so much this was a lot and if you made it all the way to the end of this video you're amazing so there's my little paper here continue to create more guys bye